Now this is something that I've actually been curious about for the longest time. This is SteelSeries Gaming Eyewear, developed with Gunner Optics. So, the claim, and there are many claims about these glasses, is that they will reduce the overall eye fatigue and eye strain associated with using a computer monitor for prolonged periods of time. So I don't know if you guys know this, but probably on a daily basis I use a computer monitor for anywhere from about 8 to 12 hours. So it's a very, very long time. And that causes some fatigue on my eyes. Especially at work where I've got three 24-inch monitors and then a fourth 17-inch monitor. It's a lot of eye gouging brightness and light that is uh, that is making me feel tired. So one of the things that I did do recently is even though I have a very mild prescription, I tried getting some glasses to see if that would make my eyes feel overall less tired all the time. So far it hasn't really made a difference. I've had them for a couple weeks. The next thing I wanted to try was using the Steel Series Scope. So that's the particular one we're looking at here. Glasses. Now I'm going to make the overall approach to this video fairly simple, and I'm just going to outline all of the claims that SteelSeries and Gunner Optics make, in addition to just unboxing and looking at the product. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear these glasses every time I'm in front of a screen for at least a week, maybe, let's, why don't we say two weeks? Let's say two weeks to get a feel for whether my eyes actually experience any difference and their fatigue level. So I'm actually cheating because there's a lot of different stuff that they have to say about it. I've got my iPad there. But why don't we start with uh, some of the included. Okay, what is this? The digital performance eyewear or something. Okay, it's excellent out of the box. Non-prescription gunner eyewear is highly recommended as a solution for contact wearers or post-corrective surgery parents, patients. Crystalline and amber lenses are precisely tuned with plus 0.2 diopters for digital screen viewing distance. Okay, cool, yeah, limited warranty, okay. Uses and care instructions, so probably just basically, yeah, be careful with them and use the cleaning solution compatible with the, okay, yeah, got it. And that's like umpteen billion different languages. Okay, inside the box we also find nice little sleeve, little gutter thing on it, okay. We find a separate box for the glasses themselves. And we will have to figure out how those come off. So what does Steel Series or and Gunner, okay, so this is a collaborative project here. What do they have to say about them? So I've already outlined what the overall effect is supposed to be, but let's talk a little bit about how they say they work. So number one is the tint of the glasses. So this is amber, but they capitalize some of the letters and not some of the other letters, but these are amber lenses and they're supposed to reduce the amount of harsh, bright blue light and make everything appear with more of a, of a warm color. So that is supposed to reduce fatigue, okay? So that's the Y yellow, ahem, the shape. So the highly wrapped curved lens is supposed to retain eye moisture. So rather than having moisture evaporate away from your eyes much more readily when you're not wearing these glasses, it is supposed to allow them to retain some of it, which means that when you're not blinking for a prolonged period of time, let's say when you're very, very focused, whether it's on a spreadsheet or whether it's on a game, uh, they are not supposed to dry out as easily. So that's one of the things that my optometrist actually mentioned when I first went in complaining about eye fatigue, was make sure you're blinking enough because eye dryness can be one of the leading causes of eye tiredness. So there's that. Uh, the proprietary lens material offers the clearest image possible and comprised of lightweight materials for long haul ergonomics. I can tell you guys right now, it's very, very light. The overall glasses, including the, uh, including the frames, extremely light. The coating, so they're designed to reduce glare and protect the lens. Okay, anti-reflective coating. I guess you guys can be the judges of how anti-reflective it is when I go like this. Okay. The fit, ergonomically designed, the lens and frame solution are constructed from the most advanced lightweight. So yes, once again, lightweight, yet durable. So let's have a look at how they're made. So those are the hinges right there. I'd say you still have to be careful with them. They're still glasses. They got kind of a neat carbon fiber finishy thing going on here. But the good news about these is that, uh, check this out. So with my actual, like, you know, fitted proper prescription glasses, um, you guys can see how much this one sits up off the table because my ears are crooked. 
So whenever I wear glasses that are just kind of off the, uh, off the rack, so to speak, the only way that they fit me properly and evenly is if they grip the head a little bit. And these ones do grip, they do hold on, just like my, uh, just like my, uh, my sunglasses, but they don't grip too much, they're not uncomfortable. So that's, that's a good thing as well. Okay, the benefits for gamers. So improves visual efficiency with the change in the tint coating, focusing power, and curvature. Okay. Improve visual endurance, improve visual recovery, keep your eyes fresh and relaxed. Okay, minimizes eye strain. So you can get them with a prescription, although the ones that are available to just like buy online are going to be the non-prescription ones. So if you already have corrective lenses such as contacts, these are going to be ideal for you. And, uh, but yeah, if you go to Gunner Optics, you can actually get them directly from them with prescription lenses. And, oh, this is neat. So headset compatible, that's a really good point because most glasses, whether they're 3D vision glasses, for example, or whether they are prescription glasses, are often a bit of a pain with a headset. And I wish I had a headset on me, but you can see how flat to my head these sit. So I can't imagine there'd be any difficulty with a headset, but when I do my impressions video, I will definitely try a headset between now and then so I can let you guys know. So yeah. Expect an update from me anywhere from, sort of, let's say two weeks to a month from now. I'll give them a really prolonged trial to see how they go. And I will let you guys know sort of once and for all from someone who gets very, very bad eye fatigue just from using a computer so much, whether these things are actually worth the fairly hefty ticket price. So thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look because we're gonna need a much longer look. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech.